Hi guys, welcome back to another snapshot video. A bit surprisingly, a snapshot dropped today. Just to make it clear, this is not a snapshot for 1.20. We don't know yet what that update is gonna be about. So this is a snapshot for 1.19.1. .1. The big thing that got added in this snapshot was renewability for allays. So now you can make as many allays as you want. This was definitely necessary and is a welcome change, especially in servers, this could have been an issue. So the only way you can get them right now at 1.19 is to find a pillager outpost. If you're lucky, then there's cages with two allays in there, or you go to Woodland Mansions with special rooms with allays in there. But since those structures are thousands or even ten thousands of blocks apart from each other, this could become quite tedious if in case you need a lot of allays for a bigger project. And if you have a lot of players playing on a server, all of those places around spawn raided immediately and then could become quite frustrating to get all the allays you want or you have a world border and there's none left at some point. So all you need now to make more allays is a jukebox, so you need to find at least a diamond and you need one music disc that you can either get as a chest loot from a dungeon or ancient city or the woodland mansion and some amethyst shards. So the way it works, you have an allay while the music is playing, you give him an emesis shard and then you immediately get the second one. But you couldn't give those guys immediately a shard again and you duplicate them instantly again. You have to wait two and a half minutes until you can do that again. Also, if the Alley already is holding the emesis shard, so something like this, and then you play the music disc, it wouldn't work. So you always have to manually give this guy the shard and then it will duplicate. So this way of getting more lace is incredibly convenient because you can do it everywhere. You just need to bring your one lay music disc and a record. So in a lot of cases, it's probably more convenient to build this little yeah, duplication setup on site. Let's say you build a shulkane somewhere, you want to use lay for item collection. So yeah, instead of bringing them all at your base and bringing them here, just, yeah, do the duplication on site. Then might be a good idea to have a little pen around so they couldn't fly away. And here's the ultimate pro tip for you guys. The perfect music disc for the lay breeding is actually the stall disc because it has a playtime of two and a half minutes. So exactly the cooldown of the lay breeding. So we're gonna check that out. I'm gonna put the music disc in and immediately breed an lay. There we go. And now we just have to wait two and a half minutes for the record to stop playing and then we can do the duping again. All right, here we go. The last 10 seconds of the stalled music disc are playing now. So that was exactly two and a half minutes. We can put it in there again and now we can breed them again. So with this method, it's definitely incredibly easy to get as many allays as you want because you have the exponential growth. So now we already have eight after a couple of minutes and so on. Uh, after half an hour, I can literally have hundreds of them. Right, yeah, so all you basically need is just a jukebox, one diamond you need for that, then a music disc. You need a bit of luck to find them somewhere in a dungeon. Uh, but you could also use the good old skeleton creeper method to get your record. And then you need to find one geode for the emesis shard. So this can even be done in an early game. To be honest, this mechanic almost feels a little bit too easy for my taste. So I definitely welcome that the lay is now renewable, but I wouldn't have minded at all if it would be a bit more tedious to get more allays. There would be like an additional requirement. So Mojang definitely did a complete 180 yeah, there with their strategy. First, the lay was really hard to get. Definitely also was no secret. I said in the first snapshot, it's gonna be quite tedious, especially on servers to get enough allays. And now it's basically free. We've heard the sentiment before that it takes Mojang that long to develop new updates because they're very deliberate in ascertaining how new additions to the game would affect the gameplay. So with that in mind, it seems rather strange that it would flip-flop on this issue that much. In my opinion, it would have been completely okay, it would have been a little bit harder to get more allays. It's also kind of sad, there's now no reason again to go to the Woodland Mansion. So of course, there's still allays in there, but the pillage outpost is a lot more common and easier to find. So in case you just need a single allay, it's probably better to get it from there. Uh, it would have been kind of cool if there would be some mandatory reason to go to the Woodland Mansion. So my suggestion would have been that the LA duplication only works at the Woodland Mansion. So if you need more LAs for a project, then you have to come here to duplication. Then there's some effort to transport those LAs somewhere. Would have been kind of cool. 
Of course, this woodland matrix suggestion might not really work with the lore, but this was just the general idea. Could it also be another structure? And yeah, it seems also a bit far-fetched that they are able to duplicate when hearing music if you give it a crystal. You think about it. Anyway, I will always take the LA being renewable over it not being renewable. So I'm definitely happy with this change in general. There's also a second new thing that got added in this snapshot. On multiplayers, you can now report players for abusive communication. So if you press P, you can report other players. So for testing purposes, I earlier already reported methods. Let's check out this clip real quick. So report Getting bugs. Methods, no, but... wait, you can report bugs in game? Yeah, sure. Long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Long time. Okay. Report methods. Select chess chat messages report. I love mangoes. Sharing details. Um, offensive fruit choice. Offensive. Just, we, we, we test, test, this is for testing in a snapshot review. Better write or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Not that they think it's, it's unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, this is for testing. Uh, some secret mango lovers, and... you never know. Oh, select report category. Hate speech. Oh, hate speech, <laughs> terrorism, drugs <laughs> or alcohol. Okay. Nudity. Hate speech. Hate speech, yeah. Should I send the report? Okay. Mango gets played. Thank you for reporting inappropriate behavior. You've received the report. Also, we're currently still testing out and working. Da -da -da. Okay. See if methods get there spent. May not be no, no, this means, unfortunately, there may not be action yeah. taken. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, uh, I can't wait. Because methods didn't do anything wrong there, and we were only testing this for the snapshots, nothing should happen. So in general, it's definitely a welcome step. So yeah, playing Minecraft should be a bit safer for the kids now. But we can only hope this is not getting abused somehow, that somebody could maybe create fake messages and get somebody banned that didn't do anything wrong. So I was thinking about carpet bots. Could they just send message somehow and somebody reports them? Would that be something that is possible? So hopefully the system won't be abusable. There was also a bug that frogs weren't able to put their frog spawn on waterlogged blocks. So I'm wondering if this works now with you know, just some top slabs. Could imagine it wouldn't work with the solid surface. I guess it's even working as intended now. So it does work, for example, with those type of waterlogged blocks, so even with the chests here. Alright, so that's all for today. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.